For a gaseous system at equilibrium, it is possible to write a KP expression. However, it is also possible to write KC expressions for gaseous systems. Hi, Mr. B here. In this video, I will explain how to convert a KP expression to a KC expression as well as calculate a KC given a KP value. Consider the following example where reactant A comes to equilibrium with product B. The KC expression for this hypothetical reaction is written as follows where Kc is equal to the concentration of B raised to the B power, where B reflects the coefficient in the balanced equation, divided by the concentration of A raised to the A power. Now let's assume that both A and B are gases. In this case, a Kp expression may be written, where Kp is equal to the partial pressure of B raised to the B power divided by the partial pressure of A raised to the A power. The question is, how is the value of Kc related to the value of Kp? The best way to explain the relationship between Kp and Kc is to use the ideal gas law. In the first case, PAV is equal to NART. In the second case, PBV is equal to NBRT, where A represents the reactants and B represents the product. Solving the ideal gas law in each case for pressure will get the following relationship, where PA is equal to NART over V, and PB is equal to NBRT over V. The next step is to insert the partial pressures into the KP expression, where the KP is equal to the partial pressure of product B raised to the B power is divided by the partial pressure of reactant A raised to the A power. This will give the following relationship where NBRT divided by V raised to the B power is now divided by NART divided by V raised to the A power. Now simply factor out RT. This gives the following relationship where Kp is now equal to moles of B divided by volume raised to the B power times Rt raised to the B power, which is divided by moles of A divided by volume raised to the A power times Rt raised to the A power. At this point, the formula may be rewritten as Kp is equal to Nb over V raised to the B power divided by Na over V raised to the A power, all times RT raised to the B minus A power. Since moles divided by volume is also known as molarity, we may now rewrite this part of the formula by writing concentration of B raised to the B divided by concentration of A raised to the A. All times RT raised to the change in number of moles power. The delta N represents the change in moles. The change in moles is determined from the balanced equation. Since the concentration of products raised to a power divided by the concentration of reactants raised to a power represents Kc, the Kp expression 
now becomes KC times RT raised to the delta N power. Exiting the system.